Ah, good morning, good morning, my friends. Come Bethlehem Church. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Another Sunday morning. The last one in the month of November, almost to the end of the year. December 1st is, I think, Tuesday. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're fast approaching. Amen. We've started the holidays already. We're fast approaching the uh, Christmas Day. Amen. Have a little while to go, but Christmas is fast upon us. Amen. I'm so thankful, amen, to be able to be with you. Amen. One more Sunday morning. Amen. Would you, amen, please endeavor to help me for a few minutes lift the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Cobb Bethel and friends. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are often tossed and driven on the restless sea of time. Somber skies and howling tempers all succeed a bright sunshine. In that land of perfect day, when the mists have rolled away, we will understand it better by and by. Well, by and by, uh, when morning come, will all the saints of God are gathering home. We will tell the story just how we overcome. Or oh, we'll understand it better by and by. But we are often destitute of the things that life demands. Want of food and want of shelter, thirsty hills and barren land. We are trusting in the Lord and according to his word. We will understand it better by and by. Oh, by and by, Lord, when the morning come, we'll all the saints of God are gathering home. We will tell the story just how we overcome, or we'll understand it better by and by. Trials dark on every hand, and we cannot understand all the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land. But he guides us with his eye, and we'll follow till we die, or we'll understand it better by and by, well, by and by, Lord, when the morning come, well, all the saints of God are gathering home, we will tell the story, I will, and for we'll understand it better by and by, well, by and by, Lord, when the morning come, well, all the saints of God are gathering home. We will tell the story just how we overcome, for we'll understand it better by and by. Amen, amen. By and by, <laughs> when the morning comes. We will understand it better by and by trials dark on every hand. Sometimes we might not even understand all the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land. My, 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 my. Temptations, hidden snares often take us unaware. My, my, my hearts are made to bleed. Praise the Lord by and by when the morning comes. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. I want you now to join me as we go to the throne of grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. time. We need to pray. We need to pray right now during these perilous times. Our Father and our God, we come boldly before thy throne of grace. We come, our Heavenly Father, because we realize who you are. And we come, O oh God, because we know that you are the one and only true God. And we know that you are the one who looks beyond all of our faults, minister to each and every one of our needs. We know, O oh God, that you are the one who has kept us. 
You are the one that holds us in the hollow of your almighty hand. You are the one who has been good to us. You've been kind to us and merciful unto us. You've been so much better to us than we could even be to ourselves. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being the God that you are. Thank you, O God, for being the forgiving, merciful God that you are. And we thank you, O God, for your blessings, many, too many to count, that you have so richly given us. We thank you most of all for that, 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 that one all-important, greatest gift we could ever receive, the gift of your darling son, Jesus Christ, one that hung, bled, and died on the cross. We all now have the hope of salvation through our faith in him. We all can take a right to the tree of life. If we're willing, oh Heavenly Father, repent of our sins. We can have a right to the tree of life. We thank you right now, God, for blessing us. We thank you for saving us. We thank you for healing us. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, that you're a doctor with more medicine in the hem of your garment. All of the doctors in the universe, all of the hospitals, all of the laboratories, you have more medicine in the hem of your garment. Thank you right now, God, for being with us. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for this moment that we're now enjoying in your history. Lord, we call upon your holy and righteous name, for we don't know the name where man can be saved. Oh, precious. All oh, right now we magnify and glorify your holy and righteous name, for you've been good to us. Help us, oh Lord. Help us in this hour. Help us. In these trying times, help us, oh Heavenly Father, in these perilous times, help us in these anxious times, help us, oh Heavenly Father, to stay true to your word. Help us, oh God, to stay faithful to you. Help us, oh God, to continue to live the Christian life you have called us to live. Help us, oh God, to pray and pray right. Help us to help somebody else. Help us, oh God. Sing Zion songs. Sing songs to one another. Help us, oh God. Right now, brother, we can stay true to your word and true to you. We want to serve you. In spirit, we want to serve you in truth. Please have mercy on us right now. We're leaning and depending on your word. We're not going to go out on our own. Oh, Heavenly Father, we want you to lead and guide us in the way that we should go for we know if you lead us, We'll be led right. We pray, oh God, that I will bless those who are sick, those who may be afflicted, those who have their father who are found behind prison walls, those who have their father that don't know you. It's a great partner of sin. Those that don't know you, Heavenly Father, we pray, oh God, that we'll live some kind of life some in front of them and before them. Oh God, that they want to share in the peace that we have. Don't want to have a smile on their face like we have and know that it comes from you. Please to have mercy right now. Bless us. Keep us. Strengthen us is our prayer. Keep us in the narrow footsteps of your righteousness is our prayer. Order our footsteps in your word is our prayer. We're not asking, oh Heavenly Father, for riches and anything. Is what You've already given us what we need. Hallelujah. If we let us accept the provisions you've made for us, we already have what we need. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless us. And the blessing we read right now. Keep us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know, I know, I know. We ought to feel just a little bit better. Amen. Going before the throne of grace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Help us, oh God. Amen. For we cannot make this journey by ourselves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I 
just want to thank you, Lord. We just had Thanksgiving. Why don't you say it? Thank you, Lord. Every day is Thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Amen. My, my, my. Instead of complaining, about what this and what that, we ought to be thanking him, amen, for one more day. Because you didn't have to be here this morning. Ooh, hallelujah. You didn't have to be here this morning. He didn't have to wake you up this morning. Wasn't promised to you, my, my, my. But he did, and we ought to be thankful for this day, amen. Thankful that God has blessed us, amen. The scripture lesson mm -hmm, found in Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 8th through the 14th verse, Hebrews, the 13th chapter. Mm -hmm. The 8th through the 14th verse. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the 8th through the 14th verse. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priests for sin, are burned outside of the camp. Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. My, 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 my. Praise the Lord for his holy word. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to make a couple of announcements. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, today at 3 p.m., I had sent out the uh, link and the, uh, the email to you for the invitation for the uh, fifth Sunday, um, tele uh, the fifth Sunday virtual uh, Zoom convocation. Every fifth Sunday, they decided in the West District to have a Zoom convocation, hoping to raise, yes, to raise money, yes, to raise money. I'm not going to say much about that. Raise money for budget shortfalls in the district, mm -hmm. in the district. If you would like, you can tune in. And if you would like to, to donate, they're going to have a caption there for you to donate. Amen. I'm not going to say much about that. I'll move on. Um, but before that 3 p.m. at 1, yes, 1 today, before 3, 1, maybe perhaps you're listening right now, just a little while after now, 1 p.m., I want you to get on that telephone, amen, and call in and speak to Reverend Alexander, amen, teleconference, check in for all members of Car Bethel AME Church. You have the information sent back out to you, yes, if you've forgotten, if you have the information sent back, back to you. Call in a little while at one o'clock. Amen. Yes, there's a couple of things I, I'm going to say, and it won't last long. And we'll be off and on to our merry way for the rest of the day. Amen. One o'clock. Then you can tune in at three if you would like to the Sunday, fifth Sunday convocation. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are continuing, amen, in our community service. Uh, we did do some community service uh, last Monday. Amen. And we're going to continue to do community service. We'll be uh, announcing and putting out the information to you on what days and perhaps we'll have some things at the church that you can come pick up for you or somebody else that you know. But just listen out more for that. Amen. Praise the Lord. We did do some last week. Monday handed out 50 boxes. Amen. To uh, families and uh, those who came 
and picked them up and we delivered to quite a few of them as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thanks to um, the uh, Veterans Helping Veterans who we partnered with, uh, as well as some uh, have worked with uh, Lester Chapel, amen, and, and handing out some food and meals uh, for Thanksgiving. And, and um, we just we just we just want to be busy while we are in or out physically of the church, and we are doing a pretty good job of that. But just listen out, amen. Uh, Sister Janet Woods, Brother Temple Woods, Sister Doris Maddox, some of the ones who are hitting up some of those endeavors, amen. Just listen out, listen out, listen out. Thank you so much for the work so far, and we have done in community community service, amen. Which is what God wants us to do to reach out, amen, to those. Uh, around us. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am going to do something a little different than I hadn't been doing, only because we are missing so many people's offerings. Uh, a few who are being diligent, those of you who are being diligent are giving, understand, but so few of us, so many of us are not being as diligent, and I appeal to you to give, please, as if you were at physically the church, you were at the church physically every week. Give what you normally give. Amen. So I decided Amen. To make an offering appeal every Sunday. If the Lord is blessing me right now, you can write your check, get your money together, and then perhaps you remember to give it, to mail it. Yes, you can mail it, or you can bring it by the church, or you can use the Zells. Perhaps you'll go to one of those. Uh, while I sing just a, a verse, you sing along with me. The Lord is blessing me right now. Lord, right now, you know the Lord is blessing me. Well, right now, oh Lord, right now, oh, oh, oh He woke me up uh, this morning. Well, and He started me on my way. The Lord. Is blessing me mm -hmm. right now, right now, right now. The Lord is blessing me well, right now. Oh Lord, right now. Well, you know the Lord is blessing me. Oh, oh right now. Oh, Lord, right now, oh, 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 he woke me up this morning, well, and he started me on my way. You know, the Lord is blessing me right now, right now. Right now. Amen. Praise God. So perhaps some of you, yes, that's how we used to do it when we were in the church physically. You know, we'd come around and we'd sing, the Lord is blessing me right now. So perhaps some of you felt, amen, that it's time to give, amen, that I got your offering ready and you're going to send it in. Yes, Post Office Box 310-434, Atlanta, Georgia, 31131. If you've forgotten it, Yes, or you can use Zelle. Go straight to the account if you can use Zelle. Amen. Those of you who have been using it, or you can uh, drop it by the church. Amen. Praise the Lord. Call me. Reverend, when are you going to be at the church? And I will be there. Will somebody will be there to receive your offering. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, amen. Now, 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 now. It is time for the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Time for the word of God of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hebrews. Yes, yes. Hebrews. Hebrews. Uh, chapter number 13, verses 12, 13, and 14. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, the very last chapter of Hebrews, the 13th, or the 12th, 13th, and 14th verse says, Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, 
but we seek one to come. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> my, my, my. But we seek one to come. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. I just want to talk about and have you, if you will, to think for a few minutes on the thought mm -hmm, called uh, to obedience. Called uh, to obedience. Amen. If you are a child of God, mm -hmm, if you have professed Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you have repented of your sins and you profess to be a Christian, you are a born again believer. You are called to obedience. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We're called to many things. And one thing that we're called to, uh, we're called to holiness, we're called to preach, we're called to all kinds of things, sing and all, but we are called to serve, but we're called to obedience. Amen. We have to be obedient to the word of God. Amen. Obedient to Jesus Christ. Did you know that Jesus Christ is the word? That's what it says in John. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. Hmm. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Oh, my goodness. Jesus is the word. So are we going to be obedient to the word of God? That means we have to be obedient to the gospel, and the gospel is of Jesus Christ. We have to be obedient. Amen. There is a call. Well, Reverend, uh, we're obedient. Are we obedient? Amen. To the word of God. And those who may not yet. Hmm. Oh, my, my. This is going to let you know what obedience to God means. Obedience to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If you have not yet professed to be a Christian of the Lord, I'm going to attempt to get you let get you to realize that a call is on your life, whether you accept it or not, to come into the church of the living God. Not the congregation of the church. You come in there too, but to the church of the living God. Repent of your sins and receive the call to obedience. Amen. Praise the Lord. In our text today, we find that it starts off really, uh, Jesus Mm, my, 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 my. Left an example. Paul, then I believe is Paul. We, we don't know specific, uh, maybe we don't we know directly who wrote Hebrews, but it seems like Paul, you know. Uh, so the writer here, which I believe uh, is Paul, uh, starts off in the 13th chapter talking about brotherly love. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, is it hard, hard to be obedient with brotherly love? No, not for Christians, it's not. Not for Christians. Don't go around talking about it's hard. It's not hard. No, 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 not if, you're, not if you're a Christian, not if you, no, 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 we're called to obedience. Brotherly love, it says to love our neighbor as ourselves, love our brothers. Ah, uh, yes, yes, and that's what we're going to do. And then it, it talks about being cordial to strangers. Uh, uh huh. yes, not mean, and they're like some of us uh, in the congregation are, not in the church of the living God. We are cordial to strangers. Then it also talks about how we ought to treat uh, marriage. Uh, you all know how y'all treat the marriage. I don't have to talk much about that. Uh, and, and remembering the sick, those who are in bondage, those who may be locked up in prisons and whatnot. Uh, 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 then also be content with what you have. Don't be coveting someone else's because God will never leave you or forsake you. You're going to have what you need. And he talks about if you're able, yes, to do those things, then you're able to say the Lord is my helper. Yes, because... He helps me to do all the things that I'm called to do in this obedience. Amen. Praise the Lord. For those who have spoken the word, amen, that you have been taught by, who have led you, remember them. These are the things that, 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 that the writer has said before we get to that eighth verse that kind of sets the uh, 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 stage, if you will, for him saying, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means you don't change. That means we shouldn't change. Hmm. We shouldn't change. We have a call to obedience. Don't let some doctrine come along changing your mind. We are set, fixed, have a foundation dedicated to the word of God, committed and following only the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yes, yes. All the old rituals and types of things that 
that they had as man-made types of stuff. And we have it today, even in the church today, we have all this man-made stuff that we think is going to send us to heaven, that we have to do every Sunday morning. We have to go from left to right to communion, right to left to communion, whichever one it is that, that you're supposed to do. And you have to have the, 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 the altar there, and you have to have other stuff. But that's not the case. Lord, have mercy. Christ looks at the heart. Now, I know it's hard to convince folk. Not to follow, no, not to worry so much about the rituals. Yes, but have something in your heart. Hmm. A call to obedience, being obedient to Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. He brought in a new dispensation. Praise. Amen. That's what. And so, therefore, the old, the old has passed away. He's established the new. Jesus Christ himself has fulfilled the law and the prophets. We go by the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're called to be obedient to the gospel of Jesus Christ. My, my, my. Of Jesus Christ, the word of God. He didn't come to throw out the law or to get rid of everything of the prophet. He just came to fulfill it. It has to be in your heart. Hmm. One of the things that he fulfilled when we read that 12th verse, wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffer without the gate. You know, when they had had the, the, the when they had the the uh, sacrifices and whatnot, they had to take them outside the camp. You couldn't do it right there. Take them outside the camp. Don't, you don't bring them in. You take them outside the camp, kill them. And all that. So Jesus, keeping it with it. You see what I'm saying? He didn't do away. He established. You understand what I'm saying? He established. You know, he established uh, 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 the laws when he fulfilled it. He himself had care. He was carried out of the camp, out of Jerusalem, you know, up to God. God was here. He was carried out, shedding his blood. Now, in other words, he's the sacrifice. For all you can get rid of all them other sacrifices that they had outside the camp. Jesus is the sacrifice. We need to be obedient to Jesus. He is our sacrifice. Not the goats and blood of all that. Don't be worried about these rituals, eating the pork, all these kinds of things that we have. Rituals, rituals, rituals. Eat this. Don't eat that. Stand here. Don't just sit there. Go in the, the third Thursday of the month. No, none of God now looks strictly at the heart. We have to be obedient to Jesus and his teachings in the gospel. And he was crucified outside the camp, meaning we have to go meet him outside of the rituals, outside of, 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 of man's uh, own uh, uh, making, outside of this world's influence, this world's tradition, and this world's uh, uh, rituals and things. Man, we have to go outside of that. Hallelujah. Mm, to go unto Christ and be obedient unto him who never changes. Be obedient unto Christ who never changes. Remember, never change. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, outside the world, outside of man, outside of everything else, outside of the law and everything, hallelujah, and go unto him bearing his reproach all that they've done to him, bury it on our side, burying it that draws us close to him. Now he was treated and whipped. Oh, have mercy, hung, bled. How he was scared, how they talked about, how they mistreated him. We bear it right now. Hallelujah. Any Christian buries it. My Lord, we bear it right now. Hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Some things won't go our way. And people will have an all out assault on Christianity. All out assault on Christianity because they can't do it their way. They can't put their own word. They can't add leaven, which they try to do like the Pharisees do. And therefore, they have an assault on the Christianity. But Christ is the same today, same as he was yesterday, same as he'll be. And we have to be obedient to his word, go under him outside of all of this foolishness going on and ooh, go under him. Ah, my mind, be obedient to what the words say. Love your brother. Yes. Oh, those who 
do good to them that despitefully misuse you. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked. It's not conditional. We have to do it as Christ taught us to do it. Go one to him. We ain't worried about what, what they're fixing to eat. We can eat whatever it is we want to eat. Those rituals don't apply to us. Just go unto him and do as the gospel commands us to do. I'm glad that we don't have to worry about all of that. Oh, my, my. You couldn't keep all of that no how. Therefore, you just go unto him. When they say outside the camp means outside this old world. Outside man's rituals. Uh, outside the swing of the White House, outside the swing of the naysayers, outside the swing of politicians, outside the swing of whomever is in country to the God's word. We're going to go outside of that kind of camp and we're going to go under him bearing uh, his mistreatment, his despisement of others, by others. For here, we have no continuing city. Ain't nowhere you can go that's going to be here all the time. There's no continuing city, but God has one. Hallelujah. Hmm. We seek one to come because if we're going to be obedient and live right, if we do, then we'll seek one and we'll receive in the land. Oh, yeah. A city. Hallelujah. Not made by him, but God. Hallelujah. Made the city, which he promised us. Ah, my, my. Hmm, in that city. <laughs> uh, we don't have one right now. We don't have one right now. We don't have one right now amongst all of the thieves and the robbers. We don't have one right now amongst the nation. We don't have one right now against the evildoers. We don't have one right now against the trespassers. We don't have one right now against the antichrist here on this earth. We don't, but we will have one. We look forward to that great city which is to come, that great kingdom which God promised us, which is to come, which will enter if we are hard. Our heart is right, and we have been obedient until we die. We have been obedient to his word and have not been sidetracked by something else. Hallelujah. We got all kinds of things to sidetrack us now. Yes, all kinds of things sidetrack us now. That people want to add into God's word. Ah, yes, yes. I, I, I can be friendly with you. I can also know that if you are doing something or teaching something contrary to God's word, I can treat you nice. You can be a politician. You can be in office. But I will not support something contradictory to God's word. Amen. We got plenty of that going on right now. It don't matter what party you in. We got contradictory to God's word in both parties. Hallelujah. I might have voted for one, but I know how far to go with the one I voted for. I know how far to go with anybody and anyone when they do something or say something contradictory to God's word. And they do. Because I'm going to be obedient to the word of God. What has been established by the word of God. Jesus Christ, yes, yes, never changes. That means God's word doesn't change. That means we should never change. What we believe should never change. How we act should never change. So it don't matter what they put before us to get us to accept things of, of this new way of society. We will not do it. For we are called to an obedience to God and to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to the Holy Spirit, which leads and guides us. And we're going to be obedient because we're going to go unto him outside of all of this other mess going on. We're going to meet him outside. We're going to go unto him outside. Hallelujah. And do what it is that he taught us. Do what it is that he taught us. Yes, he didn't teach us men with men and women with women. He didn't teach us oppression. He didn't teach us injustice. He didn't teach us lying, stealing, cheating. He didn't teach us any of that kind of stuff. And all goes the same. It don't matter. Wrong is wrong. Sin is sin. Right is right. He ain't taught us all that stuff. Ah, my, my. But he did teach us to love one another. Did teach us not to defile the bed of marriage. He did teach us 
Hallelujah. The ways of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life. That's what I'm going to be obedient to. It don't matter in this world today who you vote for, know how far to follow them. Who your, who your friends or associates are, know how far to follow them. Don't let anything interfere with your obedience to Christ. On Christ's solid rock I stand, all of the ground sinking sin. Let nothing in front of your obedience to Christ. You've got to say, for God I live and for God I'll die. Only what I do for Christ will last. Nothing will get in the way of my obedience to Christ. Hallelujah. I'm obedient. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. Pitted every groan. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love the Lord and I'm going to be obedient. Hallelujah. Under the Lord, I know how far to go. And when the time comes, now I'm not going to let anything overshadow my obedience to not man's rituals. Oh, not this world prestigious reward, not anything, not family. Oh, hallelujah. Don't stand in the way of my obedience. We're called to be obedient to Christ and Christ never changes. We must go unto him outside, hallelujah, of the camp. Ah, yes, 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 bearing all of his reproach, bearing the rejection that he had, bearing the liars that lied on him, bearing, oh, hallelujah, the way they treated him, bearing the rejection that he endured, the beating that he had, and hanging up on the cross, bearing, hallelujah, all of that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hallelujah, we are called to be obedient to Christ. Meet him, yes. Go unto him. Yes, outside of everything else, only unto him. Hallelujah. I believe, I believe, I believe I better, I believe I better hold on now. I believe I better hold on now. Mm. Hallelujah. Bearing all of his reproach, all that he went through for just us to redeem mankind. Ah, he suffered on the cross for our sins took all of our iniquities to the cross and we go to the cross with him. Our old self dies and we rise in our new self with him. And if you have risen, you have a call to obedience. If you have not and you're still dead to Christ, then you need to repent of your sin. You need to be sorry for the life that you have lived and accept him as your Lord and Savior and realize there's a call to obedience on your life. Hallelujah. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Hallelujah. Hmm. My, my, my. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. Ah. I shall not I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not. Be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water. I shall not be moved. Amen. I shall not. <laughs> Hallelujah. I ain't going to continually go unto him outside of the camp. And there is nothing you're going to get me to follow outside of the commandments, outside of the word, outside of the example of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. Know how far to go this old world and let your obedience shine over everything in this old world. Everything in this old world. I'm, I'm, it's my prayer that God will continue to wrap him up, wrap you up in his great arms of loving care, 
and that he will keep you every second of the day. To him, that all wise one, who is able to keep you and me from falling, he will present us faultless before the throne. To him be glory, dominion, majesty, and power, henceforth now and forevermore. Amen. Praise 